I cannot watch these commercials and not say anything. Just yesterday, I was watching Good Eats on the Food Network. Alton Brown actually mentioning that vegetable oils were bad for you in comparison to butter. Ironically, the first commercial after that was for country crock margarine. Then a second commercial for Mazzola corn oil. I can't make this shit up. There aren't enough people speaking out against these food products. And for good reason. These products make a lot of money. When we talk about vegetable oils, what we actually mean is vegetable seed oils. But just think about it. Vegetable oil? What the hell is a vegetable oil? How many vegetables do you need to make an oil? How much corn, soy, cottonseed, rapeseed is required? Whose idea was it to eat these foods in the first place? Canola oil is used as biofuel. Safflower oil was used in the paint industry. Soybean oil is a byproduct. Now, there are some plant-based oils that aren't nearly as bad, such as olive oil, coconut oil. This has to do with how the product is made and the omega fatty acid profile. Look at this marketing. We bring a taste of the country to every family table. We start with simple, farm-grown ingredients and slow churn them in Kansas to make delicious, rich, creamy, buttery spreads for everyone to enjoy. It's soybean oil. Is this a joke? They literally use soybean oil to induce oxidative stress in cholesterol. Same with the corn oil. They're telling people it's healthy. The public is convinced the opposite of the truth. This stuff is poison. Toxins, pesticides, herbicides are stored in fat. When you take GMO soybeans that have been doused in agrochemicals, press them into oil, you're creating the most toxic substance that we consume on a daily basis. To make soybean oil, you have to crack the soybeans, heat them, roll them into flakes, solvent extract the oil with hexanes, which is a type of gasoline, then refine and deodorize the oil. Sometimes these oils are hydrogenated, adding a hydrogen atom, making it solid at room temperature, which is even more harmful to our health. But don't worry, guys. The soybean oil is hexane-free and purified. You can't forget the soybean meal that is fed to animals, or used in soy protein products that vegans suck down. So many vegans are afraid of consuming oil, yet they're consuming the other poisonous soy byproduct. This is why there isn't much negative talk about vegetable seed oils. Whether you're spreading country crock on your toast or eating feedlot beef, it required byproducts of these vegetable seed oils, feeding into the pockets of the oligarchy that controls our food supply. My mother used to fry chicken cutlets every week in soybean oil, and my grandmother still has a giant jug of Wesson oil in her pantry. Every single restaurant uses vegetable oils to fry and cook their foods. We are consuming incredibly large amounts of a food that should have never been created. It's full of agrochemicals, has anti-nutrients like phytates, soy exhibits estrogenic properties, and is high in omega-6. You couldn't make a more poisonous food if you tried. Not only are you poisoning yourself and disrupting your hormones, this omega-6 is mostly composed of linoleic acid, a fatty acid that does not occur in natural human diets in significant amounts. As we can see, natural foods like butter and coconut oil have about 2% linoleic acid, where vegetable seed oils have dozens of times the amount of linoleic acid that should naturally occur in the diet. You are what you eat. If you consume vegetable seed oils in high amounts, all of the fats, the lipids in your body, including cholesterol, will turn into linoleic acid. Human adipose tissue studies have demonstrated that in the long run, its fatty acid composition approached that of the diet, and thus, this provides us with a useful check on adherence to the diet. If your LDL particle contains linoleic acid, your body converts it into hode. 9-HODE and 13-HODE are metabolites that form under oxidative stress. Once linoleic acid becomes oxidized in LDL, aldehydes and ketones covalently bind ApoB, creating LDL that is no longer recognized by the LDL receptors in the liver, but is now recognized by scavenger receptors on macrophages, leading to the classic foam cell formation and atherosclerosis, aka heart disease. The content of 9-HODE in the LDL of atherosclerotic patients aged between 69 and 94 years increased 30 to 100-fold when compared with young, healthy individuals. 
Interestingly, studies have shown the animal form of omega-6 arachidonic acid has prevented this oxidation of the plant omega-6 linoleic acid. Plant version bad, animal version good. The opposite of what everyone believes. If we can't even convince the public not to suck down this poison, we will never move in a positive direction for our health. Yeah, sugar's bad, white flour's bad. There's so many inflammatory plant foods in our diets now, whether it's because of anti-nutrients like lectins and beans, how we make our modern hybridized wheat, whatever it is, all of this stuff pales in comparison to how dangerous vegetable seed oils are. And they're in everything. You go to McDonald's, it's in the bun. You buy honey buns, you buy any processed food in the store, chances are it has some type of vegetable seed oil. It's in Beyond Meat, the new plant-based burgers. It comprises most of the calories. It's in our meat. It's in our pork. It's in our chicken. It's in our beef because we're feeding the animals the vegetable seed oils. You cannot avoid this poison. You go buy your butterball turkey for Thanksgiving, you're sucking down linoleic acid. I, I, it's, it's never ending. It's never, I don't know if this, out of every single thing that's negative in our diets now, it's so big and the infrastructure is just so conducive to making money at this point that they don't have an alternative. Yes, we have to move towards a more sustainable food system that not only is better for ourselves, it's better for the environment, it's better for everyone involved in every step of the process, except we all know how stubborn people can be, how reluctant people can be to change, how their special interest groups, and of course, inherent human selfishness and laziness. The amount of money required to spend, the amount of effort required to research, nobody wants to do this. There is resistance on every single side of this. The people in control are spending a lot of money to prevent anything positive from happening, and the people that are under this control are okay with it because they don't want to change. They're, they're apparently happy doing what they're doing now. I don't know. I'm losing my mind, guys. Uh, this is this is completely crazy that it, it's not, you know, and you can't convince people either. You can have a conversation with someone and the appeal to authority and the conventional wisdom, you know, no matter what comes out of my mouth, I could be telling you how to make $10 million in a week and people don't listen to you because that's just how it is. What are you going to do? Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please, above all, share the video as well as subscribe, like, uh, if you guys do want to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.